but I am going to point something out to you. Your gut instinct's telling you something. What held you back from really, you know, putting into this and saying, what the f is going on here? This has been 10 days now that you haven't been at home. Um, what held you back? Because I know that you thought about it now, going back, my, looking back. My wife telling me to calm down. You're not a detective anymore. You're not this. You're not that. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned. This doesn't add up to, in my mind. Mm -hmm. Everything that she's done, not only just recently, but going back months, doesn't add up in my mind. It just that doesn't come together. Something's and, not and, right. And I want to know all this stuff. I want to know how come she's taking money? How come she's supposed to be one place and then she's someplace else? Where's my granddaughter? I, I want to know this stuff. I believe I need to... Right. Set my mind what's going on. Yeah. I, I've even tried to follow my daughter around, but unfortunately, she dodged through traffic and lost me. So I mean, when was that? I think it was that same week, the week of this uh, gas can type stuff. So you found her in Jackson, or I mean, in Orlando, at some point during that week. Was it the day yeah. before, day after the gas can? Oh, it was. It was def definitely after that. After the gas can stuff. Yeah, because as a matter of fact, she she borrowed my wife's vehicle. I can't be specific on the day, but I know she used my wife's vehicle because she supposedly again was going to work. I know. I, I know. We could probably. I could probably she get your wife's car. Borrowed it. From I'm the just house. Yeah. Did she ask your wife? Did she? Oh yeah, she asked my wife. If she could use it because. Her car supposedly not running exactly right, or whatever the case might be. Well, then again, if you don't keep gas in your car and some other stuff, your car's not going to run exactly right. So, but I told my wife. So that would have been after the 24th. I'm almost positive. I can't be specific on the day, but all I remember is that I seen the car and I know Kate was driving, it and I tried to stay behind her. Went on the 408, chased her down, and I, I just couldn't keep up with her. It was just impossible. Was she driving erratically, or just? Driving fast. Driving fast. I mean, she wasn't weaving in or out like that. She was just driving fast. I'm trying to stay back at a distance that I can watch her. Right. Because my wife's vehicle is a green uh, Toyota 4Runner. On the back of the window, there's a large panda on the back. You can't miss, can't his, miss, it. You can't <laughs> miss his vehicle. It's yeah. just the way it is. So. Do you have transponders on all your vehicles? Mm -hmm. yeah, you get yeah. on the white vehicle? No, my daughter's not have one on hers. Okay. That's another thing that's happened. She blew past without paying a couple times, and it's to say, guess who the comes back to? Comes back to you. Good old dad, yeah. $25 fine, $35 fine, plus whatever, stuff like that. So, Is that recently, or is that? Yeah, January, February this year. January, February this year? Yeah. Her, her excuse was, I threw money in a dad, it, it must not have counted, or I, I, I'm sorry. It, Did you believe it? Did you believe her? Did you? Not asking if your wife said give you the benefit of the doubt. Did you believe her when she said it? Not really, because she's 21. I just, I just, I just believe her, you know. In the times where there was one spot, I remember at University Boulevard and Route 50, there was one. I think it was like one something in the morning. I'm like, okay. And the other one, I can't remember. The, I, I've got that. I made copies of that stuff. So okay, because I was even when it happened, you know, you get the notice in, in the mail, right? You know, you open it up, and I'm like, okay, well, it's. He passed, and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. And there's a, there's a traffic citation right next to it. Mm -hmm. and I'm saying that such and such time went through, you didn't pay your 25 cents or 50 cents. Now I you owe us not only that, but extra money. So I'm like, okay. Very that, frustrating. That, that day that, that you were following her, was anybody else in the car? No, she was by herself. And you saw her driving? Absolutely. Okay. And I was following her in my little black car that I got, and she was quite a distance away so do you know if, if she had met up with your wife to get the keys or did she just go home and get the keys she just went home and got the keys okay so there was nobody at home when she picked up the car oh no my wife was at home so your wife saw her that right but what specific day I'm not really sure not sure I'm not that I can't but it was before all this other stuff happened it was between the gas cans and, I'm, I'm and when you got the notice about the car being in the total lot right oh most definitely I got that that feeling oh yeah was her car, did she have her car at the house saying it wasn't running right, or she, did she get dropped off at the no, house? She, no, 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 the car was there. Okay, so the car was left at the house. Yeah. Right. So she came home, dropped her car off, and took mom's car? Yeah. Okay. How long did she keep mom's car? Just for that afternoon, maybe 
late evening type stuff. Came back that day and right. her switched him back out. Right. Did she? Do you recall why she said she needed mom's car? Again, her car was not running right. It got erratic. Um, I know she needs some brake work done. She needs oil change, little things like that. That again, usually dad does it. But I was trying to tell her the last few months, I said, listen, Dad'll do anything he can, but Dad's sort of getting tired of paying for you when you're supposed to be responsible. You're supposed to be working. You should be taking care of your own stuff. A $20, I'd, I'd give her coupons. Go get your oil change, 20 bucks, 15 bucks. Go get your tires rotated. I even put other tires on her car. I took her wheels that are on her car right now. I took them off and put other new tires and wheels on it to try to save some money instead of going out and spending $600 on these specific tires that she has on the yeah. car. I went out and spent $130 put some other tires on it and other rims that we had originally with the car, so. I understand. And as a matter of fact, that that's really wild too. The $130 that I spent on two new front tires for a car, she ended up taking that money from my wife and paying me back half of it. What do you mean? How did she do that? I don't know how she Oh, she just took the money from her and they gave you some of that money back? Yeah. Like she was saying this paying you back? Yeah. Flipping things around. So. How, did, how did you figure that out? Oh, she told me after I could pressure her a little bit, so she finally came clean. She not only told my wife, but also told me, so. Okay. Because my wife started finding um, just little things like um, my daughter was constantly paying her phone bill through my wife's account $400 here, $300 some dollars here. You know, it, it doesn't take a mathematical genius to find out. You can pay your at and bill, my wife checks the stuff online, or she calls the bank, or we get this notice, you know, that we're 30, we need an extra $35 because $300-someone-dollars taken out of your account, and it's not there. And my wife just says, wait a second, I've never written a check for this amount. My wife doesn't write very many checks anymore, none of us really do, everything's all the ATM stuff, we do stuff online. And she was. Yeah, so my daughter hacked into my wife's account, or she... Whatever she, she had access to it, probably. Yeah, she got access some way, somehow, and just was doing her thing with it. So. All right. Um, let's jump forward a little bit. Let's go to. Uh, you, you need something to drink? Or? No, I'm fine. You, you need anything? Yeah, I'm perfect. I'm, thank All you. Right. Um, as far as. Let's, let's go ahead to, to July, around July 11th, 13th, when you and your wife. Uh, found the notice on your front door. Can you tell us about that and what transpired? And okay, to go back. Well, I'm sorry, like, I'm, I'm skipping ahead too far, I think. I, after that time where she borrowed the car, did you guys see Casey in between then and no. when you found her, no. when, your, when your wife found her on the 15th? Okay, so there were no more contacts other than telephonic. Telephonic. Um, texting. Texting that my daughter said that she had went up to Jacksonville to meet up with this guy by the name of Jeff Hopkins, someone that she had said, mentioned to him probably about the last two years. He has a four-year-old son, Zachary, and he and Kaylee are very close, and she wanted to expand upon the relationship. You know, did, you hear, did you ever hear Kaylee talk about Zachary? No. No. Because, matter of fact, we didn't even have to bring up Zanny's name. She never, you know, our granddaughter's a pretty bright little girl. No, she never. She never said Zanny. Never no, talked about her name. No, never, never said anything in that regard whatsoever. Did she ever talk about Amy? Not that I can recall. No. Rico. Any any of the names that have come up? No. Looking back now, have you, have you heard Kaylee mention any of those names no. at any point no. in time? No. Most definitely not. How about any of the other friends? of your family, people that she sees on a regular basis over at your house? Are there any... As far as what my granddaughter would say... Is she talk about Uncle Lee? Oh, yeah, Uncle E? Uncle Lee? Okay. Uncle Lee? Yeah, I mean, yeah, because, you know, they would stop over at his house. He lives five minutes away from us. Um, okay. They did stop by occasionally and see him and, and his uh, roommate, his, who's Brian. Yeah, they'd stop over and see that. Does, does, would she say Brian? Does she... It's possible. It's very possible. Did you ever hear? That's what I'm asking. Did you ever hear no, talk never, about? I never see my granddaughter say that. No. Okay. No. But definitely Uncle Lee. Oh yeah. Uncle Lee. And and his almost fiance Mallory Maui. Maui. Yeah. She talked about Maui. Yeah. Because okay. whenever we mentioned Uncle Lee's name, oh, we're going to see Uncle Lee today. Maui. Maui. That was something she. Yeah, she would associate people with right. other people right. and things like that. But you never heard her talk about Zanny or Jeff. Or Zachary. Annie or any of these other friends of, of hers. No, I, 